Hey guys, it's Pat and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today it's going to be a mob battle and the Nightbug is fighting once again. And guys, if you haven't seen the Nightbug before, he's from the Anti-Plant Virus mod and not a little bug. Check that dude out. 600 health and like this freaky looking eye. It's scary. You can tell he's going to kill a lot of stuff today. And for opponents, guys, we've got the Ender Golem, the Iron Golem, the Mutant Zombie, the Spitbug, even the Mantis. I know last time I had a bug battle, everyone was like, Pat, you didn't use the Mantis. And today we're going to do it. I, I hate this thing. It makes the most annoying noise. So Nightbug, I hope you can kill it really quick. I believe in you. We also have the T-Rex, so Giant Dinosaur against Giant Bug, and the Cephadrum to finish it off. And if the Nightbug can actually kill the Cephadrum, which would be amazing, we'll bring in something even stronger, guys. And once again, if you want to see more battles set up like this with tons of different mobs, be sure to crush that like button, and I'll keep them coming. So we are going to get started right here with this dude. It's the Ender Golem. He's got 100 health, cool red eyes. I think they can have different colors, too. He's so skinny and weak compared to him. And he has to go first because he's the weakest one. So we're going to make it happen. They don't want to fight. Probably a good reason he doesn't want to fight him, but we'll see in a second. All right, here we go, and let the battle begin. You gonna slap him? Oh, that's so bad. He's hitting for only a couple damage, and the night bug is pushing him back so far. And he's cornered here. He even has the slowness effect on him, and he just jumped on him. I'm surprised you can still walk. Okay, he's down to 36. It's not looking so good, is it? Ender Golem trying his best, slowly walking towards him and slapping him with his hands. He's, oh, he's dead. Wow, he just jumped right at him and finished him off. So the Nightbug only down to 572. So guys, for the next round, the Iron Golem is going to be fighting. And honestly, he hasn't been in a battle in a long time. Usually I use all different kinds of Golems. And I think he wanted to fight again. At least we'll make him fight. So here we go against the Nightbug. It's going to be a tough opponent. He's trying. At least he hit for 6 damage. That's pretty good, but he's going to hit him 10 times and he's going to die. And if he gets him in the corner, it's going to be horrible. Oh, he just like exploded his body right there. He is down to 30. He's cornered. Poor Iron Golem. And he is down. Took him down to 555, but honestly, it wasn't even close. All right, guys. For the next round, it is going to be the Mutant Zombie. And oh, we got a Villager. We got a Villager. That's epic. He's got 150 health, and he resurrects three different times with 40. But keep in mind, he's against, you know, the Nightbug, which has 600 health. So I think, to be fair, you should go first. You really should. Good luck, my friend. And you're going to die. He really is. It's going to be awesome, though. And he'll try his best, hopefully. So, yeah, he's smashing him like crazy. It's doing, like, two or three damage, which is probably not a good thing. The Nightbug has, like, really high defense. And I assume that hurt a lot. It had to have. He's down to 114. And the Nightbug just has so much health. It's ridiculous. Oh, he threw him. I'm so surprised you can even throw him because he looks heavy and you're actually smaller than he is. He is down to 95. If he gets him into the corner, though, the mutant zombie is going to be screwed. All right, there he goes again. Oh, he's jumping. I love this move so much. Oh, it looks like he actually threw him at the perfect time so he didn't take damage from it. He is down to 538 and it looks like the mutant zombie about half down. But keep in mind, he does resurrect with extra health, just not very much. I think he's doing pretty good. Doing better than I thought he would. I honestly thought he'd be dead by now, so I'm kind of proud of him. Okay, he is at 50, and the night bug is at 512. Oh, did you see that? He tried to throw dirt at him, but he totally missed. So that's his ranged attack. I don't usually see it too much in battles, because normally mobs are, like, right next to each other. He's at 25. Oh, right into the corner. That is bad, mutant zombie. Oh, and he's sitting on top of the mutant zombie's corpse. Took him down 100, though. Mutant Zombie, you gotta really start hitting quicker. You're going too slow. And from that corner, there's nothing he could do. Unless he throws his way out. Oh, right as I said it, too. He's at 23, and he's getting jumped on. Oh, he's down again. So that time, you got him down like 16 more health. It's not very much. You're gonna have to do a little bit better, Mutant Zombie. He's throwing once again. You know, it might be possible. If he got really lucky, and he threw him like... 300 times in a row. Maybe he could win without taking damage. Okay, so right now he's down to 32, but the Nightbug is jumping on top of him. And that is very painful. Alright, he's at 3. I think he's going to get up one more time. He's definitely about to go down, though. Oh, he got some hits off. Okay, Mutant Zombie, this is your last chance. You might want to run. You have a chance. Do it. Run! Run! What are you doing? Run that way! 
Okay, he's gonna die. I tried to warn him. I tried. It didn't help. He's down to 14. He's getting jumped on to finish him off. Oh, that is the most amazing finish ever. And the night bug has won. Took him down to 448, but seriously, it wasn't even close. And for the next round, guys, it is gonna be a battle of the bugs. We got the spit bug right here, which is like the son of the jumpy bug. It's got 100 health, but it's from Aura Spawn, so it's pretty powerful. So let's try this out. All right, here we go. It's attacking right away, shooting acid at him, which looks exactly like seeds to me. It really does. But yeah, he's trying his best here, and oh, do you see that? He threw dirt right at him. Down to 96, he has a small, like, regeneration effect. Oh, I wonder if they're gonna fight from range. That would be cool. He has thrown so much dirt. Are you fighting back? Are you too far away? I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you. You can get him, he's right over there. All right, there you go. I believe in you. He's shooting. He's trying his best. He really does attack quick. The thing is, he only has 100 health, and the night bug has 600. Oh, he's gonna jump on him. He's gonna pay for that attack. So yeah, no matter what I do, the spit bug is going to die here. Definitely going to die. At 37 now, night bug 550, and jumping on him again. I think he's doing pretty good against the night bug. I mean, with only 100 health, He's done just as much damage. Okay, so he's at four and bam, he is dead. And it looks like the night bug has won once again. So now is the round everyone's been waiting for, the mantis. We all want to see it die. We want to see it die quick, so do it, night bug. Do it. I'll back up so we can't hear the horrible noise too much. You better kill it quick. All right, so night bug down to 560, mantis down to 79, jumping on a flying bug. That is cool, actually. That is a cool move, my friend. All right, he's at 514. Wow, the Mantis is really doing some serious damage. But he's down to 42 and he's gonna die. You can do it, Nightbug, quicker. Quicker, kill him. Down to 23. Oh, he didn't hit him with the explosive move right there. But trust me, Mantis is dying. Down to seven, one. One more hit. Oh, it's down. Got him down to 445 though. It shows how strong this stuff in ore spawn actually is. And next up, we are going with a dinosaur. A T-Rex with 160 health. And honestly, I think this one might be pretty close because it's very strong and it's from ore spawn. So let the battle begin. All right, here we go. So he's hitting for seven. That is really high compared to everything that fought so far. The T-Rex is high defense as well. And he's trying to push him back here. He's at 147, Nightbug taking some abuse and blew him up right in the mouth. You can see he's constantly biting. I'm just assuming he's very hungry. I wouldn't eat that though, I mean look at it. It looks disgusting to me. Okay, he's down to 130, jumping on him again. He's down to 537. It's gonna be tough for the T-Rex. I think just because his health pool is much lower, although he did get a bunch of bites off right there. He's at 111. But guys, I do believe when the Nightbug gets low, he has a special shield he puts on that makes him take even less damage, which would be really brutal. Okay, he's almost half dead here. T-Rex is down to 79. Nightbug still way above half. Way above. And the slowness effect is getting to him. He was like walking in slow motion towards the Nightbug. Down to 458. T-Rex biting away. It's not going to work. Oh, he's cornered. If he gets completely cornered, he's definitely screwed. Oh, finally, he jumped on top of him. I was waiting for that the entire time, Nightbug. What are you trying to do? You should be using that every time. If I could control you, I'd be constantly jumping. I really would. Okay, he's at 26 now, so you know he's gonna die soon. 16. Nightbug almost halfway down, though. Definitely the best attempt so far. One more hit. Come on, jump on him. Oh, I really wanted to see that for the finisher. But the T-Rex took him down to 387, way better than any of the other mobs. If the Nightbug can take out the Cephadrome, I'm going to be surprised. He's got 300 health, which is only half of the Nightbugs, but he's from Ori Spawn, and seriously, he looks pretty strong, doesn't he? Alright, let's do it, and let's see what happens here. Oh, 25 damage from a hit? That is brutal, and he's only hitting for 3. Come on, Nightbug, you can do this jump. Do something. That looks really painful. Oh, he's jumping on him. I think he did 10 damage right there. The Cephatrome is down to 289, and the Nightbug is dropping so quick here. He's trying to get out of the corner by jumping. Okay, he put his shield on, jumped right on top of him. But he's down to 82. Oh, I wonder if he pushed him back with the dirt, like, constantly, if he could actually keep the Cephatrome away. He's trying to get some damage off. Cephatrome, 270. Uh-oh. He just charged into him. It looks like the Nightbug is going to go down. So right now he's hitting for half the damage because he has his shield on, but 
He is dead and the Cephedrome owned him. I wouldn't want to fight you. Definitely not. And guys, since we have this out already, you know, that's like thing I used to make them fight each other. I figured we'd do one last round, the Nightbug against the Triton. With this being in my inventory the whole time, I felt like I had to try it. And honestly, he's a strong boss, so he might have a chance here. So my f don't love me. Don't love me. Love him. Here you go. Okay, so he spins like crazy, and that's going to be his chance to do a lot of damage. And we'll see what happens, because if he ends out of the corner, it's going to be bad. Oh, he's in the corner, but he's going to get like constant attacks off. You can barely see him right here. He is down to 137. He's doing some damage, though. How are you happy? You, you have to be happy. I saw heart. What are you doing? He is down to 89. Oh, he's getting jumped on. That is never good. So he is at 59. He's trying his best. I just wanted to try this one because it was already, like, in my inventory the entire time. I couldn't just leave it alone. Oh, that looks uncomfortable. That is one uncomfortable death right there. Oh, he got the potion off just in time. Just barely. He's at 9, 3, and dead. Took him down to 430, though. But yeah, guys, today we found out the Nightbug is extremely powerful, killing almost everything, but then dying to the Cephedrome. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and the commentary. If you did, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you next time for another Minecraft video.